This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Really good, my dudes. Welcome to another RuneScape news video. I'm hella hype about this one. We've been all waiting for it. <laughs> I'm talking about the bank rework, dog. So we just got released from our Timbo about the bank rework dev blog numero uno. Holla, your boy. First up, brace yourself, cause we got a lot to go over my dotes. I'm already hella hype. I'm like halfway singing as I talk. But first thing we need to say is that the link to the forum post will be down in the description below. Be part of that conversation because Mod Timbo says he will be answering questions on the 13th and 20th of this month and the 3rd, 10th, and 17th of January. So be part of that shit. If anything here sounds weird to you, make sure you ask about it on the forums. Link below. With that out of the way, full disclaimer, everything we discussed today is what they aim to add with the bank rework. However, it doesn't guarantee that every single thing discussed will make it into the final build. Just keep that in mind. Now, first and foremost, we're going to talk about what the bank rework aims to achieve. So it says here that they want to add critical features such as bank placeholders, organization, and customization. They want to improve the usability of the bank so that players can use it more efficiently without friction. They want to bring existing storage and retrieval features into one central area. Maintain the current feel of the RuneScape bank so that it's recognizable to existing and returning players. And finally, improve the internal workings of the bank so that it can be maintained and expanded easily. Meaning they want the thing to be future-proof. Next, I'm going to talk about what their vision is. Now, this is like if you're writing a fucking paper at school. This is your fucking thesis. So everything you write about needs to harken back to this fucking thesis. So essentially, I don't know, I like to talk about metaphors to help get my point across. The vision for the bank is is essentially a thesis to make sure they're on track and achieving all their aims. So it says a reworked RuneScape bank should have the same visual style and interaction as it does currently. New features should be implemented without adding friction to the user experience and nothing should be added for the sake of it. Everything should be building a better bank. Pretty simple. Next up here is the UI redesign. You can pause the video if you really want to check it out. But the redesign is supposed to make it so that shuffling through various things like familiar inventory, your inventory, presets, equipment screens and stuff should feel extremely seamless. And anybody who's been playing RuneScape up to this point should have no problem picking up the new design with ease and not have to spend a whole lot of time learning how to work it. And I gotta say, based off this early design that we're seeing so far, I'm liking it a lot. Now we're gonna go over what the features are with the new bank rework. And look at this list right here. We already can see that there's a lot to go over. We got bank placeholders, organization and sorting options, unlimited bank tabs, better searching via meta tagging, updated presets, the angle from your bank, shuffling and bank options, customizable cosmetic effects, and technical improvement corners by Mod Hunter. So let's get into it. First up is placeholders. Now we all know exactly what this is supposed to do because it's the single most requested thing that players want to see. But in case you're unaware, when you withdraw the last of an item, what will happen instead is the item will still stay in place in that slot, but will be at a quantity of zero. What that means is it will allow it so things don't shuffle around in your bank when you're withdrawing entire stacks of items or single items like your PVM gear. But one important thing to note is that in addition to this, they're also going to make it so that you could put the same item on multiple tabs. Their example is if you have a wood cutting and fletching tab, you could put the same placeholder of elder logs in both tabs, which is really awesome to see. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to be happy about that. Now let's move on to organization and sorting options. So first up, they want to give us new tools that will allow us to help organize and sort our banks more effectively in a neater and more user friendly fashion. For example, they're going to plan on adding an auto sorting feature that will allow for quick organization and customization. Here's some of the following sorting options they want to give us. Automatically sorting a tab based on the level required to make, wear, or use items, sorting by GE value, sorting by quantity, sorting by a custom setting, tabs to be marked to only accept certain item types, and to redesign tabs as loot tabs for quick valuation 
and taking a good screenshot, of course, and when using auto deposit features like the Pack Yak Scroll and Sign of the Porter. Also, the wise old man's bank cleanup option will be something that is inside the bank itself. So freeing up bank space should be quicker and easier than ever. Next up, we're gonna be talking about unlimited bank tabs, sort of. They had to put that caveat there. So realistically, it's not gonna be infinite, but you're gonna get a lot more tabs apparently with this update. So they wanna make it so everybody can have a bank tab for every single skill in the game, for every boss monster's loot tabs, for cosmetic items, for essential items, for you to customize and do with what you like. They're also making it so bank tab icons no longer need to be the first item in your bank. You'll be able to select any item in the game to be your bank icon, even if you don't own that item. You'll even be able to choose skill icons for your tabs for quick identification. Which, man, does that sound fucking badass. Moving on, let's talk about better searching via meta tagging. So they start off by saying that the whole search feature has not really been changed since its implementation, but they're looking on improving it and adding features, such as they can display search results in a window that doesn't disappear when you interact with it, and they can offer clearer information on searched item. Also, they can incorporate meta tagging. If you're not familiar with that, when you search for things, for example, like on Google, there's certain keywords that can pop up certain results. So the example they give is with this new search feature, you could search for something like simply food and it'll pop up everything in your bank that helps restore HP. That sounds fucking phenomenal. And it's going to help a lot of people who don't know how to spell specific items because I know a lot of different items. Sometimes it can be hard to remember how to spell them. So that's fucking awesome. Moving on, we'll talk about updating presets. Now, a whole lot is not said about this section, but they do want to add more key features, which I didn't really get into what new features they want to add, but they do do want to make it so you can get more presets as well as beast and burden presets so that's about as much as they say about that pretty interesting would really look forward to new presets to be quite honest so next up let's talk about the ango from your bank so this is extremely straightforward nothing really surprising here all it means as you would assume all the features that diango has to offer you in terms of your treasure hunter items skilling outfits everything of that sort will now be accessible straight from your bank making it much easier it's almost like just having an extension of your current bank which essentially it is and that's good to hear moving on we got shuffling and bank options now as it currently stands the shuffling is pretty clunky for example when you remove an item all other items after it shift up one which may or may not be frustrating to some people based on the way you lay out your bank but they're thinking of adding ways to change your shuffling mode for example they'll have an old school version where if you're familiar and you happen to play old school runescape if you take things out of your bank you kind of just have this blank spot in that location until you close your bank then it shifts everything over so they're thinking about adding that and and they're also going to be introducing a bank edit mode where you'll be able to customize your bank placeholders and cosmetic changes things of that sort which should help you from accidentally withdrawing items and messing up your layout now let's talk about some customizable cosmetic effects so they don't talk a lot about what's going on here but they basically just say that they want to make more aesthetic looking features that'll allow you to change the color of your tabs and be able to rename tabs as you please they say much more will be added but they don't specify what either way really cool option to see but finally let's talk about the technical improvements corner and see what they have to say here now essentially what they're saying here is that the way it works right now is very similar to the build we have with our inventory so the bank works very similar to just a large inventory with that it has a lot of older script with it like really old script that they kept building on and building on making it this giant thing to maintain and it's very expensive not in the sense of money but the processing it takes to execute some of these things so essentially what they're saying is they they aim to essentially rewrite the whole script from scratch, make it much shorter, reduce the amount of the script, and make it more maintainable and able to be built upon in the future. So that's pretty much what they're saying here. Anyways, that about wraps it up for this video involving the bank rework. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and if you like me, hit the subscribe button. I got news about RuneScape every single day. You do not want to miss out on that shit, bruh. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.